Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about the conspiracy theory and the opinion and thought on viewers if this man, who some may know as Mike Beltran, the referee for UFC matches with his distinguished look referring to his mustache. Beltran has also appeared as an actor on the Mayans MC TV show playing the role of the Tucson, Arizona charter president of the Mayans MC. But to L.A. County and residents in the East Los Angeles community, the residents know him as Deputy Miguel Beltran. Beltran has been with the Sheriff's Department since May 1995. And today's video will shed light on if Miguel or Mike Beltran happens to be a member of the Los Angeles Sheriff's Deputy Gang, the Banditos. For anyone who needs background, the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department is the largest Sheriff's Department in the nation. What the department's reputation has had forever is deputy gangs. It's no false sense of reality when people say police are the biggest and most dangerous gang ever. I came across an article online talking about Miguel Mike Beltran has served as an LASD deputy within its East Los Angeles department for almost three decades. This same department is said to house the violent Los Bandidos deputy gang, which lawsuits have alleged foster a sense of fear and intimidation for female deputies along with other acts of intimidation within the community up to including the purposeful arrest of innocent people in East Los Angeles. Other investigations of the LASD alleged murder, extortion, and collaboration between Los Angeles County Sheriffs and gang members within its facilities. One such lawsuit names Miguel Beltran specifically. In that lawsuit, a prisoner dropout and ex-Mexican Mafia member, Salvador Solis, who was serving life without parole, had a lawsuit filed against Beltran in the Sheriff's Department. In the lawsuit, Solis asked Beltran an officer in the Operation Safe Jail OSJ unit, which was responsible for gathering intelligence on gang activity in the jail. Solis asked Beltran to be separated from the general gang population because he feared for his life. After Beltran interviewed him, Beltran ignored the request, placing the prisoner Solis in the general gang population. Solis was then brutally attacked with rival gang members shouting as he was beaten. Beltran gave you up, punk. Let me reiterate that. Solis is getting jumped by rivals as the rivals tell him Beltran, a LASD employee, gave him up. Now, that's nothing new. Police do it all the time, putting gang members in close proximity with rivals, be it on the street, dropped off in the wrong neighborhood, where the rivals are located in, or jails and prisons. Nevertheless, as always, the district court ruled in Beltran's favor. The district court ruled in Beltran's favor on the ground that Solis was unable to provide sufficient evidence to sustain a finding of liability. Now, getting to the big elephant in the room. A photo was posted online of an injury Beltran had after a pectoral injury. Someone noticed a tattoo that had the letters ELA for East Los Angeles, followed by what looks to be a skeletal figure with the hat of some sort. Now, looking side by side, this other tattoo is the gang tattoo for deputies at the East Los Angeles Sheriff's Station for the deputy gang, the Banditos. Just look how identical the tattoos appear. To get a sheriff's department gang tattoo, the sheriff's deputy must commit a crime or do something unlawful to get a gang tattoo, like violate a citizen's constitutional rights, assault, use excessive force on people at the Compton Sheriff Station. The Compton Sheriff executioners must kill or do something vile and evil to get a Grim Reaper with a Nazi hat and AK-47 tattoo. Me personally, I could care less about the well-being or safety of an officer. Whether they make it home or not, I don't give two Fs. But, like all other deputy gangs, the banditos have attacked, assaulted, threatened other deputies, making deputies in fear to speak out against their colleagues. What's even more circumstantial was that last year, during the 2022 sheriff election run, prior sheriff Alex Villanueva was running for re-election and Miguel or Mike Beltran was an endorser and supporter. Villanueva, I bring this up because countless times when being pressed at press conferences by journalists, the former sheriff has downplayed and rejected the fact there is deputy gangs in the department. 
Current Sheriff Robert Luna, who was a former police chief of Long Beach Police Department, has vowed to rid deputy gangs, which we all know is not going to happen. Sounds like selling out to what other elected officials want. Since last year in May 2022, Miguel Mike Beltran has identified himself as a proud Los Angeles Sheriff's Detective.